Some syrup apparently got into her microphone, I think, a minute ago, but we got the problem. <laughs> it's all cleaned up now. Maple syrup is too important. We have yeah, to go back. Absolutely. All right, let's check back in with uh, Channel 3's Lauren Richardson. Lauren, do you got us? Yeah, I'm back. The, you know, Yay. it was all clogged up, as you said, but we're good now. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, yeah, I'm here in Burlington, actually, at uh, Lamoth uh, Sugar House, and we are looking at some maple syrup. So we've got the evaporator right next to us over here, too. And weather's also a huge factor in making this sugary treat. So you actually usually need freezing lows in the 20s and highs in the 40s in order to get the best conditions. But the Lamoth Sugar House has been fixing tubing for the last two weeks, and they're trying to get everything ready to tap those maple sugar trees. This is their season until March. Their goal is to make about 1,500 gallons of syrup per year, and they use a bunch of different machines to do that, including a reverse osmosis machine. The sugar is formed, when, like say, third week in October, when it, that, that leaf is a brilliant orange. It makes starch. And then through the dormancy, say from uh, October to say February, the tree turns that starch into sugar. And that's what we're after. All right, and that sugar is actually uh, made into that syrup, and you can see right over here, too. I'm going to be trying some of this syrup in the 530 show, so you don't want to mix that. Lauren Richardson, back to you guys in the studio. All right, well, we're going to give you a heads up. It's very, very good. I've had that before. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you 